there, it's Krista reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of April 15th to the 21st. Please forgive me for uploading this a bit late. Um, in the middle of work schedules, and that's changing over the next two weeks, so I will have these up on time for you in the future, so please bear with me. Uh, Scorpio, this is a general reading for uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising Scorpios for the week, and uh, I'll have all my information in the description box for you to get a hold of me, learn how to get a private reading, and um, also a a link to Always Astrology, which is where you can find out, if you don't already know, what your moon and rising signs are. So if you find this is kind of reaching you message-wise, but you'd like a little bit more input for the week, you can always look up your moon and rising signs um, on my channel here. And let's begin, Scorpio. So last week I did kind of a lengthy reading. I'm trying to keep it a little bit shorter. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a five-card spread using the Oracle, Wisdom of the Oracle cards here, and then I'll draw some additional guidance from the Healing with the Angel Oracle and the Medicine card to row. And I'm probably going to be doing a different spread next week as well. So let me know if you have a favorite or what speaks to you more or... Um, even, uh, I do a lot of shuffling on camera, and you can even tell me, you know, you'd like, you'd prefer the, the spread to be laid down when I begin recording, so you don't have to watch shuffling. However, you can always skip ahead if the shuffling is bothersome. So let us begin, Scorpio. I wish for you all success, joy, and wellness. I invoke spirits of love and light and beauty. I call upon Archangels Michael, Gabriel. Metatron and Uriel to guide this reading in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. I ask Mother Gaia to bless this reading for you, Scorpio. So we're looking for general messages for Scorpio for the week of April 15th to the 21st. All right. So central card for you this week. Scorpio is TikTok, and uh, we'll explore them in detail in just a moment, um, but you could be looking at making changes, running out of time, or alternatively, having all the time in the world, knowing that mm, time is a construct and that everything is timelessness. So for once in your life, you might feel like you're not running out of time, but that you have all the time in the world. And I say that because blessed is in the position of uh, what you're just leaving or coming out of. So you might have just discovered this recently for yourself, Scorpio, where you know, you're rushed around or uh, deadlines are one thing, they're, they're its own thing, but you might be realizing there's a different way to organize your time. And ultimately, you might just be saying to yourself on an intuitive or conscious or even subconscious level, that um, the time is now. I have all the time in the world. Um, I'm also seeing being in the moment, being right here, right now, this time. This is your time. And that things, you know, the magic happens in the moment by being present. Um, so... Just a lot of concentration around time and how you use time and how you contemplate time. Uh, but the card itself in, in the deck and in the reading here with Breathe, uh, which uh, is the card that lay ahead of you in your future, is that I think you might finally be feeling like it's one day at a time. And it sounds like a really simple thing to say and believe. Uh, but for many of us, it can be very distressing. You know, we want things to happen right now, or we wanted them yesterday, or um, we want to be control of time, etc. But what is really happening, whether we've constructed clocks and calendars or not, 
uh, let's just say in the natural world, it still is one day at a time. It is season to season and a seed is going to crack and grow in its own good time, right? According to that seed. So I think you're finally feeling that and maybe for once in a very long time, you're feeling instead of pressured or agitated by that, you're feeling really relieved by that. <laughs> Um, right? Because who needs to be stressed out with time or deadlines or getting everything done at once or feeling like you're quote unquote running out of time? I, I just don't see that here. In fact, it could behoove you, for example, to take a big breather if you are you know, really, when I say breather, I mean really sit down and contemplate your relationship with time and how you feel about time um, to bring you to a, a quieter, more calm place, if that's important to you right now. Really? Well, I saw that one first. So I'm going to leave this one here, and then we'll look at the bottom of the deck for overall energy. For the week, Scorpio is Mendings. This is such a glorious card. Um, we have two little fairies sitting on school threads and they're mending the um, the scarf that lay on top of some of the cards here. Mending is what you are willing to or already in process of doing within a relationship. Again, this is a general reading, so the relationship could be business, uh, romantic, uh, platonic, and it could very well be with yourself. <clears throat> so whatever relationship means for you, there is a lot of mending going on. Um, could there be physical, technical mending where you're actually sewing something, fixing something up? Sure. Uh, but I'm seeing there's a lot of uh, emotional, generous emotional energy here. Um so not from the head, so to speak, not where, you know, you're thinking and contemplating. I'm saying it's a good idea to think and contemplate your relationship with time if this is an issue for you or if you haven't realized how blessed you are um, with time or how to use it or your relationship with it. Because the outcome to this, the central issue being time or timelessness, as it were, is um, that you can breathe easy. I dare say you might even be involved or becoming in tune with or enamored with the psychic side of your innate abilities i just and, and enamored not like uh you can't have it like you um you can see it but you can't have it but like enamored in the sense where you you understand its value and how important it is to be peaceful and to meditate even or to contemplate um even by being in nature, even even while petting an animal, even while listening to your favorite music. I mean, meditation doesn't have to be sitting cross-legged with your eyes closed, does it? No. <clears throat> it can very well be baking um, or sewing, <laughs> as it were, or contemplation, contemplation over a relationship with something um, or someone, including yourself. So in a little bit more detail here, let's look at TikTok up close. This is a highly spiritual card. And you can see the clock is coming sort of out of this empty vastness in the back. It's just like there's a um, sort of like a dusty golden desert behind these hands that are tossing this stop this um, pocket watch in your face but it's the pocket watch itself has an air balloon so it can be suspended it's it's a really interesting time for you this week Scorpio because um, I think you're going to be at ease with time like I said for perhaps once in a very long time and just by ease I just mean you know maybe accepting maybe even surrendering and just saying I understand that in the natural world, I can't control time, but I can control the way that I deal with time, or I can control my relationship with time. 
or how I think about it, or even how I use it. But time itself is its own entity. Um, so it's it's really interesting. I had, um, about 10 years ago, I had a similar sort of aha moment around time as well, you know, rushing and scurrying everywhere. And all of a sudden I realized one day at a time and, and it really did help me relax. I, everything still got done. Um, there were fewer emergencies in life. Um, I was able to breathe, relax, enjoy the moment. So I really truly think that this is either occurring for you or about to occur for you or you're contemplating this type of relationship with time. So what you're just coming out of recently is blessed. And blessed is, um, it's a really stable position to come from because it means that you remember who you really are and what to be grateful for and to give up the ghost, so to speak, to give up the things that really can haunt you, um, things that you, it, generally things that haunt us are things that we do to ourselves, right? Things that are in our own minds, revisiting things that were harmful or painful, or even revisiting things that were lovely um, is another way to cling. So it's important to remember, and it's, I hope you can see how beautiful these colors are, like mauves and purples and pinks and stuff. So just very um, soothing and relaxing and spiritual and elevated. There's an elevation here that you're elevated, I wouldn't say above anyone else but your previous self, the person you were yesterday or the person you were last week, or even last year. I mean, this, again, so this general reading, take from it what um, makes the most sense for you. But uh, you're feeling something that you might have visited before that you can incorporate now. You can really appreciate it now. And you might even just feel relieved more than anything. Uh, so what are some external influences in your life? And that is poised. Poised is a beautiful card as well because it means that you have everything you need to tackle what lay ahead and that you're ready and you have all elements and resources there to support you. Um, so you're poised, you're ready, you um, have done the, you know, the hard work or the long hours or you know, the, the deep thinking or even feeling decision making that you had to go through in order to get to this position where you're thinking, I have nothing in my way. There are no hurdles anymore. You might even say, what's my excuse? <laughs> what excuse do I have? Have other people gone through what I'm going through or see what I'm seeing or etc etc and have they gotten through it you might even have asked yourself how you might be looking you might have been looking for some inspiration um and you and because of that seeking you found it so it's only through that process though for many of us we don't want to, we want what lay at the end of a lot of hard work, right? Personal hard work or uh, personal development. We want what's at the end of that, right? You know, relaxation, good feelings, feeling calm and forgiving people and, your, and yourself and being forgiven. Like those are wonderful things to have at the end of going through the muck of learning who you need to forgive and why and, and what you're going to stop rolling around and round and round in your internal camera um, and you have a lot of support a lot of people are around you um, or you're you've put yourself in a position where you now have support and resources that you didn't before where you're freer you're freer to take the next step for you that's right for you and at the bottom uh, which are in the spread internal influences we see serendipity so again a lot of spiritual energy here um, this could indeed be exactly a, in terms of a general reading. If you are coming from 
a place of spiritual development or having contemplated spirituality, this is a really significant um, placement for this card for you, Scorpio, because it means that you have been able to let go of something. Surrender is very underrated. Surrender sounds like such an intense vulnerability that no one would ever want to do that on purpose. You know, why would anyone make themselves vulnerable on purpose? It sounds so dangerous. But because this is in the position of an internal influence, it's something that you have let yourself do for yourself because you need it. We all need to heal within. But many of us don't have the courage to do that. And many of us don't even think, um, for example, some of the things that I just pointed out that lay at the end of some hard work, you know, the, the hard work of getting through some of our trauma or um, even something as simple to say but difficult in, in action like forgiveness. I feel like you're in a position now to release perhaps some of your biggest fears and concerns and just let it go because you have faith. There is faith in something larger than yourself for the first time in a long time. And uh, what lay in the outcome card for the rest of the week is the card breathe. So again, I mean, this is something that you feel... I like the word faith here a lot. I think this might even be a term for you this week where, you know, you're not blindly going into anything and you're not surrendering to the point of vulnerability where you're, you know, um, in a dangerous situation, right? You're, you're, you're not um, wasting time or you're not abusing time. I think what you're doing here is just saying, like, I... I know what it takes now to feel calm and to feel relaxed and to enjoy the moment because the, the place of power is in the moment. And if I'm always thinking ahead or I'm always thinking behind and that's where my mind is taking or that's what I'm contemplating, then it's nearly impossible to live in the, in the present moment. And that's where the magic happens. So Scorpio, I think you've figured it out. And you've not only figured it out, but you're putting it into practice. You're seeing the results for yourself, and it feels good. So this is awesome for you, Scorpio. Let's draw some um, extra messages from the other decks here for Scorpio for the week of April 15th to the 21st. So here are some additional messages for Scorpio. Do you want to come out? Nature. Wowzy woey. Okay, so I said that sort of happenstance earlier in this spread where, you know, if you want to find some peace of mind or if you want to find, for example, cycles or the way time works, for example, um, a really neat way to look at this in, um, you know, from just as a living being on the planet, Scorpio, just you know, we're all organic beings on the planet. We're all part of nature. And there is a surrender. There is a surrender of... We are incredibly powerful beings, but we are um, on nature's time. And um, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It just means cycles are important. It means that... Living in the now is important. Appreciating what is now is important. And um, to find that peace for you, Scorpio, I think you might find it the most quick, um, the most quickest? The quickest way to find that is in nature. So even looking at pictures of trees, for example, believe it or not, in psychology today, a couple of years ago, they wrote that even individuals, uh, so high-stress individuals who look at photographs of trees become calm over time. So, I mean, that's that's just stunning information. So if you're actually there and you're in nature and you're touching it or you're, look, it's spring. You could literally be growing something, planting your garden or getting things ready for your garden and you're contemplating time for the first um, time in an energetic, um, as, as an entity. 
for the first time. And not to use control, the term control to death, but there is a sense of surrender here where you need to accept that you are part of nature and that I wouldn't say nature is in control, but it definitely holds the power of balance. And then we do what we can within within those reasonable perimeters. So nature, find yourself in nature more, look at nature, contemplate nature. If you don't like being out in nature, maybe start asking yourself why. Or if you like specific types of the natural world, if you really love flowers, for example, or if you really love birds or running water or something, maybe it's time to bring these elements into your own life or to pay more attention about why those are important for you. And the other general message we have additional to this uh, reading is the grouse. And I really should know what this means, so forgive me here. The grouse is sacred spiral. Okay, this is just beautiful to me right now. You, gen again, this is a general reading. So you're in a position to see these cycles as something that you can use to your advantage. That they're in control, but they don't control you. They just happen to be an element. They're a force of nature. They're in control. And I think you are in a position, maybe for the first time in a long time, where you're looking at how to redevelop your energy, how to reconsider your relationship with time and energy and nature. It could even be the sense of, you know, like a midlife crisis or something. Like, oh, what am I going to do? Like, I've spent all this time doing blank. I could have been doing blank, okay? Even, even if you're asking questions like that, um... Be gentle with yourself uh, because it's natural to ask such questions and especially if you've come into your own or uh, become aware of something about yourself you hadn't before. You're different than you were yesterday so please give yourself a break and um, pat yourself on the back for your soul searching and, and for remembering to feel gracious and remember to breathe and take it easy. Uh, Scorpio, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Please join me next week when I will have it up on time for you. And uh, let me know what you think of the reading in the comments. And I will see you next week. Take good care.